Hi, my name's Fred and this is my bar and these are my top five spicy cocktails. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe on the link below and share on all your social media platforms. At the end of this video, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching. Okay, before I get started, I just wanna thank everyone who reached out to me to check in. Yes, we are still struggling, but we're moving along. Uh, the bar and restaurant is still open, but we are in New York State and uh, it's been a struggle. So thank you for everyone who has checked in. And remember, continue to support your local bars and restaurants because uh, a lot of them are still hurting right now. But let's get started on this video and this drink. It's gonna be called the Habanero Mango Colada. The sweet heat we're bringing in this drink. So what we're gonna need for this is our blender. And in our blender, we're gonna put one scoop of iced. Perfect. And on top of that, we are gonna add a half of a habanero pepper. So this is uh, the habanero pepper. Please remember to deseed it. So I've already deseeded it and uh, and cut it into little pieces. We're going to drop that right in there, and then we are going to add the one and a half ounces of your rum. Perfect. And then we are going to add on top of that your pina colada mix. Remember, always shake your pina colada mix. And if you'd like to learn how to make this pina colada mix from scratch recipe, click on the link above, look in the description below, or check out our link at the end of the video for our pina colada mix from scratch. But we are going to use two ounces of pina colada mix. Perfect. And then on top of this, we are going to add our two ounces of mango. I am using the Monin mango. Each pump is about an ounce. So I'm going to do two pumps. Perfect. And that's going to be some extra sweetness to this. We're going to bring this to the blender, blend it all up. We're going to put our glass here mm, and we're going to pour our delicious habanero mango colada. And then we are going to garnish this. I've also put a habanero on there with a pineapple and a habanero pepper. And there you go for your delicious habanero mango colada. Okay, the next spicy cocktail we're making is a spicy jalapeno margarita. Delicious. I already have a pint glass that I've salted. We're going to move that out of the way. We're going to take our mixing tin. We're going to add a couple of jalapenos that are sliced jalapenos to that, about four or five. Let's throw one more in there. And we're going to give that a little muddle just to give that, get the juices out of that. Perfect. Now on top of that, I started infusing this yesterday. What this is, is a Casamigos tequila that I have added some jalapenos to and let it infuse overnight. So it's been in there about 12 hours. You could leave it as long as you want, depending on how much spice and flavor you want out of it. So we're gonna add an ounce and a half of this to our mixing tin that we just muddled the jalapenos in. Perfect. And on top of that, we're gonna add a half ounce of our Grand Marnier. There it is. Half ounce of our Grand Marnier to that. Perfect. And on top of that, we are going to add, where'd you go? Here is our margarita mix. If you'd like to learn how to make this margarita mix from scratch, please click on the link above, find it in the description below, or look for the link at the end of the video. And this. Uh, homemade recipe is delicious. We're going to add about four ounces of margarita mix to this. Perfect. And then we're going to add a scoop of ice and give this a good shake. We're going to clean up our mess that I just made. Bring our glass over and add this to the glass. For our spicy jalapeno margarita. Delicious. And no spicy cocktail list is complete without a spicy Bloody Mary. This is our Serrano Sriracha Bloody Mary. Say that time, three times fast. So what you're gonna need for this is your glass. I also have a mixing tin without anything in it. And we're gonna be using Serrano peppers, which are right here. I have cut one up already and deseeded it. So you can see that we're gonna put about four pieces in the bottom of the mixing tin and we're gonna muddle that just to get a little bit of that heat out. Just a little muddle. That's it. Then on top of that, we are going to add our, where's my vodka? There it is. Our one and a half ounces of vodka. I'm using Tito's. Perfect. 
And on top of that, we're adding, and I'm just giving you a bunch of mixes to make from scratch. This is our Bloody Mary mix from scratch recipe. If you'd like to learn how to make this recipe, click on the link above. It's in the description below, or please check out the link at the end of the video. And it is delicious. We're gonna add four ounces of our spicy Bloody Mary, our Bloody Mary mix. Uh-oh, slow pour. Four ounces of this Bamba Jamba. Be here an hour. There we go. And then on top of that, we're gonna give one good squeeze of our shiratsa sauce. Good. We're gonna add a big scoop or a pint of crushed ice and put that in there and give it a good shake to incorporate everything. Now this Bloody Mary mix that I'm using already has uh, horseradish in it. It already has uh, salt, pepper. It also has Tabasco in it. So when you do the recipe, you could tweak that if you don't want it that spicy. But we're gonna add this to the glass. And we are gonna garnish that with a peppercini, an olive, and a celery stalk. And there's your Serrano Sriracha Bloody Mary. I can't even say it. And it is delicious. Okay, the next cocktail we're making is a spicy pineapple punch, and it is delicious. What you're gonna need for this is your uh, pint glass with ice. Again, jalapenos in your mixing tin. You're gonna take a couple of these sliced jalapenos, just to show you, drop a couple in there, and we're gonna give that a little muddle just to get some of the, uh, the spice and the juices out. There we go. And on top of that, we are gonna add one and a half ounces of our spice drum. I'm using Sailor Jerry's. One and a half ounces. Sorry, I'm not prepared for this one. And just a note to self, when you're using any of these peppers or any of these drinks or making any of these drinks, you could use any pepper you want. So if uh, habanero or serrano are too hot for you, just use jalapeno or chili peppers or one of the, the less spicy ones. Or you can even go hopper and uh, hotter and use the reaper pepper. That's up to you. Um, so I added one and a half ounces of our spiced rum. I'm gonna add one ounce of lime juice, which I've already pre-squeezed. I'm gonna add two pinches of cinnamon. One, two, and then on top of that, I'm going to add four ounces of pineapple juice. And remember, with the pineapple juice, you always shake, so four ounces. Good. Now we're going to drop the ice in here and give this a good shake to incorporate. And there you have your spicy rum punch, <gasps> right to the top. Delicious. Okay, and the, uh, before I make the last drink uh, today, I'd just like to point out, when you're dealing with these spicy peppers, make sure after you cut the peppers and deseed them, you wash your hands and do not touch your eyes or face. It is not a pretty sight and you do not want that to happen to you. So there's my disclaimer. All right, for this drink, it's a spicy cucumber lemonade. You're gonna need your pint glass with ice, your empty mixing tin. To the empty mixing tin, we're gonna add about a half a cup. These are cucumber half moons I cut. We're gonna put them in there. We're gonna add one and a half ounces of our vodka. I'm using Absolute Citron. Perfect. And to that, we are gonna add about four ounces of lemonade, which I just made this morning. And to that, we are gonna add two shakes of cayenne pepper. One, two, and I'm also going to give this the cup of ice in here, and then give that a good shake to incorporate. We're gonna clean our bar, make sure it's nice and pretty. And there you have your spicy cucumber lemonade. And it is delicious. Hey, thanks for watching, we appreciate it. Again, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe on the link below, and at the end of this video, which is right now, please look for all of our other bar and restaurant related videos. Thanks for watching.